I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody, for the last song of the day. Today, we are ending off with Kiss My Lips. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, pretty excited. This is uh, pretty much started out uh, super insane. I have no idea what I've got coming towards me. <clears throat> if it's anything like Eat You Up, we are in for a great week. <laughs> Let's check it out. Whoa. The Queen. couple things that i really like about this one uh something i've noticed she has a very front loaded vibrato it's uh generally one that i don't generally like but i think she makes it work really well mainly because the way and the style of music that she sings and for that reason i think that there's just a a nice 
it's kind of got a breathy quality in a sense, but dramatic? I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. It's kind of like uh, the feeling of a speakeasy quality kind of voice. And, uh, and, you know, I guess you can kind of say that that's pretty rare. I mean, not too many old school speakeasies really, really can flourish in the same sense as they used to. And the fact that she makes that work so well is just a testament. It really is. One thing that I wanted to talk about was actually the sampling of the song. This uh, synthesizer that he's got going on, it's like airy, but it's not breathy. It's like crisp air. And in a sense, I can actually kind of already imagine this. It might actually be like a choir setting, but it's tuned really low. It's set really low, and he's playing it down here. And um, it gives that effect off. And I really, really like that idea because it kind of creates this... Uh, really kind of um, kind of a tense it's like an intensity behind it but the thing that's interesting about it is that usually when you feel something tense it makes you feel closed up this is almost like open tenseness if that makes sense it's pretty crazy <laughs> I think she's really got one of the more unique um, choreographies out there compared to most. I feel like that uh, what we're hearing or what we're seeing here is very, very Taboa, right? Like, I don't feel like that I see many of these same kind of movements and shapes that she does. And, I mean, <laughs> talk about sticking out, right? I think the other thing that I find really interesting about this whole thing, too, is that I feel like that she has this kind of freedom. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be kind of real. I feel like that a lot of times when it comes to uh, when it comes to, to K-pop, it, usually there's a lot of, it seems like a lot of restriction and holding back on being able to pre prevent things as being too provocative. I mean, sure, there's a few people that have let it squeak by and push that envelope, but this is, this is a little bit different, you know? I think that this is probably one that they maybe just kind of allow go a little bit further than I've seen most people do, which, again, I don't feel like that, even though we've only done three sods, I don't feel like that she is the typical idol in a sense, you know? She's not the typical K-pop idol. She's not one that feels like that... Um, that they really beholden to be in the same kind of like work ethic, not saying that she's not working, but like, uh, <laughs> there's a certain, there's a certain free, free feel to what she does that I feel like that not many idols are very much afforded maybe because it is Boa and it's kind of like, well, yeah, just go ahead and do whatever you want. <laughs> You're Boa. We get it. <laughs> But aside from that, kind of a unique song. Um, I do think that it's kind of interesting to kind of play with this intenseness. It feels interesting to me to play with this kind of like provocative, breathy, speakeasy, kind of like, you know, mysterious feel behind it all. And, you know, she really portrays that pretty well. And I still kind of like the fact that she doesn't really have that set um, concept that you know, you kind of see a lot of older uh, groups have to deal with. I'm not necessarily saying that uh, concepts are bad. I like concepts. But it's kind of interesting when people aren't forced to be in one. Because then you kind of get some pretty different things. So, anyway. Let me know what y'all think. We'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you. Bye!